Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss a single future upload. If I sound a little off, I want to apologize in advance. I am unfortunately sick again. I got another really bad cold. My throat is really dry and scratchy. And if I sound a little funny, it's likely because of that. Today is a very special video I have been waiting to make for a while. This is my Toy Story Collection October update aka update number three the last toy story collection update video i have done was back in july and since then i have been itching to show off what i've accumulated to the collection since then and here we got a little over 12 new additions to the collection i just gotta show you now quite a few of these toy story toys i have gathered for the collection are some rare finds out there in the internet like a bunch of these are very hard to find and i'm going to point out which ones are which in a second now starting off the collection update, we got the Toy Story Collection White Logo Utility Belt Buzz Lightyear. This guy is super rare to find, probably the most rare toy of the bunch here. And I got him for $300 in pretty rough shape, if I do say so myself. But I did clean him up a little bit. I got him some new parts, including a new back, new stickers. I cleaned up his helmet, cleaned up a bunch of paint marks on him. Still got some work on him to do. And I do plan on modding him in the future. Now, when I say this guy is pretty expensive, typically, I mean he is... <coughs> <coughs> My bad. I told you guys I was sick. I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> Uh, where was I? I was saying when I mean this guy is expensive, he is gonna cost you an arm and a leg. He is crazy expensive to find new in the box. Like I've seen him, the most I've seen him go up to new in the box, like I said in one video before, I think is $5,000, which is pretty insane. Luckily I got him for only 300, but like I said, he was in rough shape and I did clean him up and I bought some new parts, like a new back. And I got him some new stickers from the hacker Billy dude. He like sells these sticker sheets for both the Disney store buzz and and the collection buzz and this helped me out with his stickers because they were peeling off and dude it actually makes him look really good with them he works for the most part except for like one major thing there's another minor thing that he has an issue with though is that he's a little delayed with uh, his uh, technology whenever you like press his buttons see Activated a little delay right there but no no problem here He works pretty well for the most part, except his wings. Now, he his wings did work at one point, but then something went wrong with this wing right here. And now I kind of have to like take off his back and pose his wing a certain way, because it's just, it just kind of started acting all funky on me. Holy, okay. Okay, it's a little crooked, but I do plan on finding a way to fix his wing issue in the future but really I just display them like this in my uh, shelf which is not a huge problem oh, yeah. or nothing Who's there? his oh, lights still work on the wings but I mean that's about it but I I'm, I can't complain too much because you know I finally got the utility belt buzz Lightyear right here he's really awesome hey guys had to change up the setting of the video again we are really close to a thousand subscribers guys like I'm no joke at 995 as I'm filming this video right now which is so crazy Thank you guys for getting my channel this far. I love you guys and I'm really proud of you guys. Next up is a toy that is like really rare, hard to find on the internet in fact. This is the Hasbro Deluxe Electronic Adventure Woody. And I had this Woody doll as a kid, but then a hurricane had hit my house and damaged it and got water everywhere. And it actually started causing my Woody doll to grow mold over time. So I had to throw him out sadly. And the only thing I really had left over was the hat. But then over time, I lost the hat too. And here, I got this guy for literally $100 flat on eBay. Which, he comes with his adventure hat right here, his uh, treasure chest, and uh, his other hat right here, the, the normal hat. And really, I just keep him for this hat on here because this was one of my favorite Woody dolls growing up here. Oh, you're the best treasure hunt buddy a sheriff could ever want. 
Okay, what I think is different about this doll compared to the other Hasbro Woody dolls is that his voice box is set on a timer. Like after you don't mess with his uh, pull string for a bit, his uh, voice box resets back to this phrase. Oh, you're the best treasure hunt buddy a sheriff could ever want. Like so. Now he is missing some pieces, but honestly, I really don't care as long as, you know, I got the doll. That's all that matters is that I got the doll. Up next, we got the Hasbro Squad Leader Woody. Now, I never had this one as a kid because I wasn't born whenever this doll set came out because he comes with his Napoleon hat, his regular hat, and his squad leader hat, which I think is pretty insane, pretty cool. Sergeant Potato Head, deploy the troops. Good job, troops. Shh, may I hear something? A good soldier never leaves a man behind. Send in the paratrooper. I'm counting on you, Potato Head. Along with the squad leader Woody, we got three of the Green Army men right here. We got this guy with a machine gun, this guy with a bazooka, and I think they're trying to make this guy Sarge. Now, these guys are kind of made from a weirder material, but they're not bad. And while I will say they did come with four uh, Green Army men, if you count the uh, army guy I have hanging up over there. And of course, we got squad potato head right here. We got the potato head along with a baby monitor that I have him hold, which I think is really convenient and pretty cool. He kind of holds it like a little walkie-talkie. And he's a really good piece to the collection right here on his own, but of course I just had to bundle all these guys up here as like one toy on my list of uh, new toys to the collection. Um, next we got a little quick one. This is Wheezy. And this guy actually came from a Hasbro Woody doll set. I think it was the firefighter one. I had that as a kid and I had the Wheezy too. And I think I gave away the Woody doll and I kept the Wheezy, but then uh, one Christmas, my mom was telling us to start uh, getting rid of some stuff so we can make some toys for uh, Santa to bring. I decided to get rid of Wheezy, but I gave him to my brother, but then my brother lost track of them, I think. And well, for a while I did not have a Wheezy for my collection when I started recollecting, but finally I found one on eBay for $60. Now. It was a better deal than getting the movie accurate one for 200, which I do plan on getting like in the future future. But for now, I got this guy and he doesn't like squeak this traditional way, but he still technically squeaks. Up next, we got the Stars and Stripes Buzz. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. His wings still pop out, has a laser. Now, I do believe I had to cut out the music that was playing on that phrase right there because it's copyrighted score. I am Buzz Lightyear, member of the Universe Protection Unit. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Now, this Buzz Lightyear action figure goes all out on the Star and Stripes design, the whole red, white, and blue. He looks really great. He has his uh, USA printed right on there, and he's in really top condition. And he's a great piece to any collector's uh, collection. And between the Stars and Stripes Buzz and the Stars and Stripes Woody, I had the Stars and Stripes Buzz as a kid. Never had the Woody, but I had this. And I do not remember what happened to this guy. I, I must have lost him or gave him away at some point. Next up, I took a tiny, tiny break from collecting just to hunt down this guy alone right here. Because I could not have a Stars and Stripes Buzz without having a Stars and Stripes Woody. Now, I like the Stars and Stripes Buzz design way, way better, but I mean, it's nice to have this guy too. He kind of has some differences as I've shown you in my Stars and Stripes Woody video and the same voice box as the 1995 Woody. So next up for my collection is actually kind of a background character. This right here 
is the troll doll that Andy had. You actually see him in the first movie as like Buzz is like doing his hair in like the Strange Things segment. And there's really not much to go off of this guy, except he's very vintage and honestly creepy. Creepy. I don't understand why Andy would even have this, but it's a Toy Story thing, so I gotta collect it. <laughs> Up next, we got finally, finally, <laughs> finally, we got the movie accurate scale, Mr. Mike. Here, he still works. And in fact, whenever I bought him from a seller on eBay, the seller actually refurbished its cassette belts, which is awesome because now I can actually do this. And I cannot play any more than that because I could get copyright. So let's try to avoid that, please. And that was Eminem music to be murdered by, by the way, if you guys are Eminem fans. Hello. Hello. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Hola, como estas? Muy bien. Do, 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 do. And, uh, yeah. He actually plays the cassette right here. And yes, I collect cassettes. And if you guys want me to do a video showing off all my cassettes and cassette players, if you want, I can actually uh, do that. And if you guys are wondering whatever happened to the one that my mom got me for Christmas uh, about a year ago, I, as soon as I got this guy, I actually gave the Mr. Mike that my mom got me to my little brother because my little brother just loves anything with a microphone just so he can kind of scream and sing into it. Up next here, you actually saw him in the last video I did. We got the speaking spell. And I know, yeah, I know he's not technically Toy Story, but he's the closest uh, working thing to Toy Story because that's what Mr. Spell was based off of was a speaking spell. Okay, I gotta, I gotta quit that or else I'm gonna get addicted to it. But yeah, this guy is a kind of a so-so to my collection, but I kind of got him just to say, hey, it's Mr. Spell, but it's not Mr. Spell. Ha 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 ha. Okay guys, next up, I actually got a 1989 Mattel CNC. Now, uh, the sticker kind of came off as I was opening it, but that's no big deal. This thing actually still works, and this was a background character for one of Andy's old toys. That is crazy. It sounds so freaking weird. It's borderline unsettling, but I love it. Wait, there's coyote and a dog? I didn't even notice the coyote. That's crazy. That is unsettling, but at the same time, I actually kind of like it. Next up, we got another one of Andy's uh, background toys from the first two movies. The Little Tykes Fire Engine. And I'm really happy to have this because as a kid, I always wanted one of these, but I didn't know what they were called. So I didn't know how to ask my parents for it if I didn't know what the frick they were called. But then again, my dad could literally find anything because my dad's one of the smartest people alive I know. And dude, look at that. It is so freaking crazy. Like, I really love the ladder. I'm obsessed with the guy on the ladder. Of course, we also got this guy to put on the back as like the lookout. And we also got uh, one guy right here in the driver's seat, one guy right there. Now, it, what's really awesome is that not only did this come with freaking a freaking fire truck, it came with four of the little types right here. Now, I actually got this guy for about 50 to 60 bucks, which is not bad, but then again, probably could have gotten it cheaper if I looked deeper, but <laughs> cheaper, deeper. <laughs> but then again, this is kind of a vintage toy technically by standard, but then again, again, I probably could have gotten it cheaper. And now for the grand finale, guys, I got the Battle Sore Woody. Again, kind of like the Adventure Woody, it is missing some parts like the shoulder pads and the weapons, but that's not a big deal because I could probably look and complete him by looking on Reddit for the shoulder pads and maybe 3D printing him some swords, like I said. Uh, you know, typical crash landing. Everyone okay? Come on, buddy, fight it off! Hi-yoo-yah! Ah, oh, huh. ah. 
Looks like we've got all afternoon to find her old friends. Come on, gang, let's stay together. <laughs> Easy there, little doggy. The battle swords are not playing. They've never been played with. They don't even know their toys. Uh, well, hi there, uh, sir. My name's Woody, and uh, th th nobody cares. Yeah, I've already showcased all his phrases. He kind of has a lot. And apart from him having the battle sword armor kind of new hand molds, apart from that, he's just a regular Woody. But I am glad I actually got a hold of this guy because now I can say I have a battle sword Woody doll. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me. I just want to say thank you guys because we had literally just hit a thousand subscribers. You guys literally mean the world to me. I love you guys. And please remember, we got the 1300 subscriber giveaway that you guys can look forward to. I know you guys are just dying to get your hands on this Thinkway 20th anniversary Toy Story talking Woody doll right here. I finally got the prize in from the mail on from eBay. I'm excited for this giveaway. If you guys want to know the rules for the giveaway, if you are brand new and you want to join, I'll put the link of the video for my 1300 subscriber giveaway in the description below. Just make sure you watch the video, listen to the rules, and enter for a chance to win this toy. I also want to say I'm really sorry for not uploading within nearly the last two weeks. I've been really swamped with work. And I've been kind of almost working my job back to back with nearly little breaks. And any of the breaks I did get, I want to spend them with my family, my best friends, and the girl I'm dating. And I will be changing up some of my video style here and there. Like, for my vlogs, I'm thinking, I will be filming those with this new camcorder I got. Because I want to give my vlogs the retro 2000 style look. And honestly, I'm, uh, I'm obsessed with this camera. I'm just currently waiting to get a brand new mic I ordered from Amazon so I can put it on top here and plug it into the mic jack back here. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, please subscribe, and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, AB, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.